Hello, I'm Story Sargent. I'm here in Central Florida introducing the new oil magnet. Okay, well, we got the number one conveyor, which is in the front. And it's, uh, you can lower it up to six foot deep in the water. And it has the belting, of course, that picks up the oil out of the water. And then the water runs back down off the belting into the ocean or lake or whatever. Then it comes back up to the top and therefore it reaches a skimmer, which skimmers the oil off of the belting into a holding tank. Then the holding tank, of course, is going to fill it full of oil and then therefore you continue on to where you need to go and take the oil off this boat. Okay. Um, if you have the grass and you have the ability to cut the grass, you could harvest the grass, which the oil is attached itself to the weed. Instead of like what they're doing now is pulling the weed, we have the, the, the possibility to go in and cut the weed next to the bottom, which therefore you may develop some regrowth. And to me, that would be a better thing to do rather than pull the weed up. Okay. So then you just, you can bring, you can take the belting off to do that. Then you harvest the weed that's, that's got the oil in it, fill the boat full and go to a shore site where you can put it into a conveyor and then haul it onto a dump truck and then take it to the proper disposal site. You can, do it. Uh, uh, you can either use a, uh, um, a pump and pump it to somebody or the whole bed is uh, mobile just like that conveyor is, and mm -hmm. that tank, can you can back up the shore and offload it on shore if you wanted to, you know, or offload it on a tanker or whatever. That whole, that whole floor in that, uh, in that vessel right there moves. It moves just like that conveyor there. Okay. So you can, uh, you can pump it out or you can actually take the tank and turn the conveyor on and push it right off the back. It's kind of convenient designed it's got a coupling system on the back where a, a, tank, a coupling system okay where a tanker can come right in behind that boat that a 20,000 right gallon tanker 30,000 gallon tanker whatever it be mm -hmm. and you can actually uh, keep the boat working you can actually hook two booms to the front of the harvester and go out 2,000 foot wide and, and have two boom boats I call them pull the boat along and funnel it all the oil 2,000 foot wide right to the one boat. And you can make a 2,000 foot wide pass. The, the narrowest pass you could probably make with that particular boat is probably 12 foot wide if just the boat itself was working. But you could go from 12 foot wide to 2,000 foot wide in a matter of minutes. And uh, if you had a 2,000 foot swath you're making, it's a big spill, you would need, a, you would need about a 30,000 gallon tanker boat hooked to the back of it. So it's pumping it directly into the tanker because this oil we're harvesting is 99% water free. When that tanker gets full, you got another mm -hmm. tanker waiting to he, he unhooks and the boat never quits working. He can, the operator of the boat can unhook the, the tanker boat behind you while another tanker pulls in hooks up. And it's a, never, it's a nonstop motion. And uh, you're getting uh, all you can get, and this boat will harvest between 500 and 2,000 gallons per hour of 99% oil. And uh, that's what separates it from everything else out there. Shallow is 10 inches of water with the boats we have designed now, but uh, we're, we're going to design a new boat that can go in one inch of water. So, and our goal is to, to, to get the oil off the water before it reaches land. And it costs a lot more money to clean it up once it hits, hits the beach. It's hard to say how long it take to pick up a certain amount of oil or whatever, but all I can tell you is we would pull up the product that needs to be pulled out of there instead of this pulling all this water and everything outside there we could get what needs to be pulled out out instead of give me some of that oil
story. I'm getting that water right off of there. <laughs> 